So today is a DIY day and we're gonna be making wall art. So come along and let's do that together. We're gonna be working with clay today. It's actually my first time working with this clay, so I'm actually very interested to see what that looks like. We're doing very inexpensive things today. So I got this canvas for $3 in Dollar Tree. And I got this air dry modeling clay in Walmart for about $7 and some change. And then I have the rolling pin that I just took from the kitchen and the board that we're gonna be rolling on and it should be pretty simple. We're gonna paint and all of that. You guys know how much I like doing a good DIY project and seeing something come to life. So I'm very excited to see what this is gonna turn out to be. Working with the modeling clay was pretty easy to be honest. It low-key reminded me of flour or dough. In fact, when I first removed it from the packaging, Sean thought that I was making dumplings. <laughs> Little did he know that I was on the brink of creating a masterpiece. Wanna tell him no? <laughs> but for real though, I really enjoy doing DIY projects. Something about them just soothes me, calms me, makes me happy. It's always good when you find something that you really like. Something that puts you at ease, especially when it feels like the whole world is tumbling down. You see, I like creating. Creating things, creating videos, creating plans. Like I have so many things that I've created to show you guys, but one at a time. I don't know, it's probably the Jamaican in me, because as my grandma used to say, you know, you're Tonya and make fashion. <laughs> Do you guys know that saying? I don't know, maybe it's that, maybe it's the Leo in me, maybe it's just me. I, I, I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> For years, I struggled with finding my thing, my lane, like my interest or my passion. Growing up, I had this best friend who knew exactly what she wanted to be from when we were in kindergarten. She knew that she wanted to be a flight attendant, uh, going in the field of aviation, maybe a pilot. And, you know, she knew that from she was saying that preaching that to me from we were in kindergarten she didn't know when how where you know how that would happen but she had that interest that passion and she followed it at one point she was a flight attendant right now she's a pilot and i am so happy for her happy that she followed her dreams her path and she's doing exactly what she likes the thing is that growing up i was always a little bit jealous not jealous of her or anything to do with her but just jealous of the fact that i didn't know what my area of interest was or what my passion is i always wanted to find that thing that's me the same way how she know that she wanted to go in aviation i just wanted to know what i wanted to do you know and no matter how, many, how much times i tried to figure out what's that thing rochelle i just did not could not figure it out and it bothered me for a very long time i know i was generally good at anything that i put my mind to but there was still nothing that to say okay this is this is what you're passionate about one point i wanted to be a lawyer just because you know they say i talk a lot so why not do that <laughs> then i wanted to be an accountant i was good at math i was good at accounting but those weren't me it wasn't until later on where I found that I really like creating and this was after trying many 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 different things till I stumbled on the fact that you know I like creating I like taking an idea and bringing it to fruition whether that's through art projects creating something from nothing or even creating these videos taking an idea whether the idea was originated from me or was inspired by something or someone else just taking that idea and turning it into these videos that you guys get to watch i'm happy that i actually found this era of this creating so with that i've been doing a lot of diy projects a lot of art projects and you you guys will get to see that as time goes by and i wouldn't have found it if i didn't explored or experimented with different things so when people ask me like how did you get started or how do you know what you want to do or whatever it's from trying many things you won't know until you've tried unless you were just you know like my friend who just was just born that way with this okay i'm gonna go do this but no for, for me i had to like try out different different things and then i came up on this and i was like yes this is it and especially now with everything that's happening in the world the sadness the destruction to the 
depression, the turmoil, just the world is one sad, sad place, man. I think that it's important to find that thing or those things that are your go-to. The things that put you at ease, the things that center you, calm you, something to escape to even for a little while. And I'm happy that I found that thing or things, this area of things that I'm interested in. And I know that there's more to discover as I'm on a constant quest of discovering me, discovering who I am, what I like, what am I interested in. You know, it's a constant thing. But for now, as I discover it, I try to enjoy the journey and enjoy the discovery. You know what I mean? So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to comment below and let me know what's your thing. What's that thing that makes you feel good when you do it? What's that thing that's your escape? What's that go-to? Even if you're pursuing it now or not, like what's that thing? Comment below and let's talk about it. So for this project, as I mentioned, it is a wall art. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it as yet. But trust me, I'll find somewhere. I've laid the clay on the canvas and I went in to smooth it out and get it exactly how I want it. So I'm going to leave it on the balcony to dry and we'll pick it up tomorrow. Since you're on the topic of DIY projects, here's another one that I did sometime last year. And just like that, we're on to another DIY project, but this one I cannot take credit for. This one was actually done by my friend Money Virus, who I showed on the channel a few videos back, if you scroll back to that July 4th video. He is Jamaican, and he made this jerk pan, which worked so beautifully. The chicken was amazing. You can see Sean here jerking because, you know, he loves doing that. But virus made this jerk pan all by himself and i don't know if you can tell that he's patriotic <laughs> but he is you see all the black green and gold colors there but he's really good at it and he's actually selling these so if you are interested in purchasing a jerk pan for yourself hit me up rachelin at gmail.com and we'll talk about it just look at it he even made the sound system I'm bad with him hands man do you guys remember in that July 4th independence video where I showed you Money Virus's yard, how he made this beautiful art? I don't even know how you describe this thing, but it's like landscaping using Heineken bottles and Guinness bottles. And just getting all so creative with upcycling, basically. Um, it's amazing. It looks even better in person. And funny enough, this video was shot on July 4th, America's Independence Day, and the jerk pan video was shot August 6th, which is Jamaica's Independence Day. So this was actually our Independence Day celebration. So hit me up if you are interested in having him do anything for you. Alright? And hit me up if you want me to make any art projects for you as well. As you guys know, I celebrated my birthday a few days ago. And some of you were kind enough to send me a birthday gift. And for that, I am so thankful, so happy to see that you guys sent me something. And we're going to be unboxing that today. Thank you so much. I just wanted to make sure I take the time to say that first and foremost. No, I want to say it's a few days after my birthday, but I'm still accepting gifts if you still want to send me some more because I'm celebrating the entire month of August. I still have the link to my Amazon birthday wish list down in the description bar below. So if you want to send me something, you can click the link and, and you can get any one of the things that are listed on there and when you go to checkout 
it will automatically pre-fill the shipping address and it will be shipped directly to me so if you still want to get me something it's not too late i don't want to thank you in advance but let's unbox the gifts that i received so far i have two now and i see that i'm supposed to receive two more so there's four gifts in total so far so let's look at the two all right so let's start with box number one it's a smaller of the two So the first gift is a phone charger that I can already see it. Remember I created the list so I know what's on it, but I don't know what is actually sent. So tripod, let's pull it out. I am so excited because I really do need some tripods because my tripod that I have, I have two and they're both not good. They're both broken, but this one is for the phone. And I do a lot of content on Instagram and on TikTok and Reels, so this will work out perfectly for the phone. But I've never actually used it before. I saw a review on that and I'm like, okay, let's check it out. So let's check it out. Ah. Yeah, so this is it. It's pretty long. And what I did like about it is that it has a selfie remote. So when I'm actually filming using the phone, I should be able to remove this and then I can press the trigger while I'm away from the tripod. That's one of the features that I really like. I just need to figure out how to get it off. Ah, there we go. So that's the remote so I can use it. And I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this because I can also use it for vlogging with the phone because it um comes down so small all right so I, have to, I need to learn how to use it but look how small it comes down i can take it anywhere i will use it a few times and let you guys know how it holds up but thank you so much for this gift my next gift is bigger so let's unbox this one as well I know what these are these are some baskets to put stuff like ground produce like potatoes and green bananas and things like that so that's what i'll be using these for so it's the next day and i actually got another package so let's unbox that inside of this box okay this is actually an alcohol bottle holder like a wine holder and i love the honeycomb frame that it has i thought it was super cute because we do have quite a bit of alcohol in the house from time to time i wanted something to hold them in that's cute so i think this is cute this is functional i can't wait to stack them up i'm gonna show you guys shortly but this is what it looks like and i'm gonna just be pushing the bottles through yeah thank you guys enough this just makes me so happy thank you Let's fit together one of the gifts that we got from yesterday. Let me do that. I haven't touched it, it's still in the box, so let's do that right now. So the intention of this is to put like grown produce in it, like yams and bananas and stuff like that in the pantry. When I saw this, I was like, hmm, this would make a good little storage container that's cute and functional at the same time. So I had put this on the birthday wish list and somebody bought it for me. So I'm so happy for that. I'll leave the link to it in the description bar below in case you guys want to buy one for yourself. If you think it's something that will work for your house. Of course, I'll also leave the link if you want to buy anything else from off my birthday wish list for yourself or for me. Thank you. Let's put it together. I'm not seeing any manual. Just we're going to have to use common sense. Says so a bin, huh? I'm gonna put 
as in here. I'm gonna put this in here, put this in there. So it looks like it needs some screws. So that's the basket part of it, and then this is the top. That should go over here, over there. And then this is it, it has this opening in the front. And then you get to put this plate on the front that you get to write with like a white chalk or a white dry eraser. And you get to write whatever it is that you're gonna be storing in there. And for me, I'm storing ground produce. I'm so able to just lift it and push the stuff. Isn't this cool and cute? Look at it. I'm actually gonna be doing a video where I organize my pantry and show you some of the space saving things that I use. So you can look out for that. This will definitely be a feature inside of the pantry. Because you know, I like to make sure things are organized and aesthetically pleasing and just easy to find, you know, just like I did in the shipping container home back in Jamaica. Try to put things in place so that it's easily accessible, especially when you have a small space, you need to, you know, be as organized as possible. That's what I aim for. So, thank you so much. So far we have the three things. I have the wine holder, I have the storage bins, and I have the tripod. And I think there's a fourth one, but that hasn't arrived as yet. So when that arrives, I'll definitely show you in a future vlog. And if anything else comes, we'll show you in a future vlog. Again, the link to my birthday wish list is in the description bar below, and I'm accepting all gifts. You can click it, it's an Amazon link, so if you purchase it, it will ship directly to me as long as you follow through with the steps. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And as it relates to the art project that we were working on, um, it's outside drying. Put it to dry, so it's still not completed yet. Sometimes these things do take a little bit of time, it takes drying time. So we're gonna get on with the next step in another vlog. But that's, this is where it is right now. And I just wanted to look at the beautiful piece that I already created that's now on my wall that I'm probably gonna move around and put something else there eventually. But this is what's sitting in the living room. Please let me know what you guys think about it because I really, really like it. I had fun creating that piece. I like art and stuff. I like art and craft. I like DIY. I like taking something and you know making something from scratch and reconfiguring things and fixing up and organizing and decorating and all of that if you've been following me through the years you would have seen a little bit of that sprinkle throughout the videos can do every single thing if i were to ever share everything is every single thing that i do guys it's a lot but um little by little let's peel back the layers like an onion. So you guys are just gonna have to stick around. I mean, why not keep going on the journey with me? And somebody commented in the last video said that they miss me saying, let's go. Or I see comments, people saying, I like to hear, so let's go. So let's say it together. Because it is the slogan for the Russian channel. Even though we're not physically going anywhere today in this video, we're still going on this journey. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go! In the mirrors that they're you know? Bless. My hair won't wash, so, yeah. <laughs> I still have to show up, right? But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Come back in the next vlog so that you guys get to see the final results of the next wall art and some other things that I have in store for you. Comment below what you want to see from me. I'm always open to suggestions. Thank you for your love and your support. Share this video with three of your friends or your family members. Tell them to hop on to the wrestling train. Tell them to join the family. When should I go live? I did ask in the last live, how often do you want me to go live? Some of you said every week. Every week is not practical. So I'm thinking once or twice a month. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know. I don't always like doing the lives because I like interacting with you guys and being able to do it in a live feed and you guys get to call in and we get to talk on the spot and whatnot. So let me know if you're still interested in that. Love y'all.
Oh, I have some travel plans coming up, but you'll hear about them later on. Rushing, rushing, rushing with the vlogging. Rushing, rushing, rushing. A good thing, thing, DIY thing. Traveling, exploring, touring. I look at your thing, I look at teaching. I be a fun thing, cause she not boring. Like, share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Watch every video, member say she not hype. Like, share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Watch every video, member say she not hype. Hey, mm -hmm. it's Rushlin.